Hey guys, what's up? Today we talk about the movie The Warriors, one of the cult classic growing up back in the days. I remember when I first saw this on television, and I saw the beginning of this movie, and I saw the Wonder Wheel, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And it was the very first time I saw this movie, by the way, like I said. And then, once the movie got started, began to end, it was epic. And this started taking place in the Bronx, where I'm from. And I was like, yo, this is some epic shit going on here. I was like, what's going on? But before we start going on, let me just show you what DVD I have. And I'm going to explain also. Now, I came also with DVDs in a, in a book. Mostly all of them, because I need room in the house. So, let's have one Blu-ray collection. Now, I got The Warrior. This is the original version. Before I bought this version, I had the DVD version of this one, the Ultimate Director's Cut. Now, the Director's Cut have good special features on it. But also, like the movie itself for the Ultimate Director's Cut, it kind of sucks. Because they want to do it like, the director said he want to do it like comic book style. And to me, the comic book style, how the Director's Cut is, I feel like it takes away the realistic realism feel of the movie. You know, like, it, to me, it just makes it more like comic or how they got comic book strip like. And I don't want, I don't like it like that. So I decided by the original disc, how it was played in the theatrical version. Or how I grew up with the television version, you know. So if you want, if you want with the after comic book style strip, then I say get the original version. But buy this just for the special features at least. Definitely very foreign native, and I kind of like to hear people's thoughts on the Warriors. Anyway, let's get to the point. The movie is about this guy, this guy in Brooklyn called the Warriors. They had to go to the Bronx, which is like this leader of this big gang called the Riffs. And he's holding like this big meeting with all these different gangs from different, like pretty much tri-state area, I would say, coming together. And the leader of the Rifts has this idea like, you know what, we should make a truce, we should work together. While you guys something like the police or like the mafia, like pretty much running things. But it's really the street gangs that runs the thing They because they rule the streets, you know. Something that the police can't control or the mafia can't control, you know. You know, it's pretty much... We we take control. Um, one of the gangs around that meeting decided to like pull out a gun and shoot Cyrus, who was the leader of this of the big gang in the Bronx, who's holding this meeting. Meeting, and one of the warriors witnessed the guy who shot the Cyrus. You know, and then as the cops come in to invade on the on this gang meeting, um, the guy that shot Cyrus that setting the blame on the warriors so he could cover his own tracks. So then the leader of the wrist side put the word out and have like every different gang go after the warriors while the warriors are on the run. And the warriors face different obstacles, fight other gangs, try, try to keep away from the police for example also. But also got a battle, they conflict with their personality with one of the members played by um, Ajax, who's like mainly a lot of people's favorite character in this movie, you know. But I think, actually, I like all the wars. You get kind of attached to them. But then, you got some, you got death uh, with one of the warriors. You got one of the warriors that ain't been captured by the cops. You know? And, um, or, as for the leader um, of the wars, that, they never, to me, that's the only thing I'm trying to figure out. Like, what happened to the, the leader of the wars? That's the only nitpick problem I had with this movie was, like, I wouldn't know what happened to the main leader. Because while he was, while the leader of the warriors was looking at the guy who got shot, Cyrus. He was right there, and when the guy set the blame on the warriors, they all jumped him. So was he dead, or was he heavily injured? Or did the cops got into when the cops raided the meeting? The cop got into. Did the cops came in just in time to maybe like rescue him or put him in the hospital or something? Like we we don't know. So pretty much, like I said, after besides that scene, I just love this fucking movie. Um, one of the scenes as Michael Beck takes over the warlord as the leader of the, the warriors because he was like the war chief, chief second in command um, they come across another gang named the orphans and they meet up with this girl like to make trouble and then the girl end up handing out the warriors while they're in the one for the different gangs and as the rest trying to find the warriors um, as the movie progressed they find out from one of the gangs who's, who was also another who also saw who sh really shot Cyrus pretty much, pretty much you could tell, tell he explained to the second in command who's the leader of the Rifts now, which they didn't show, but you could just tell that who the, they finally finally know who the real shooter is. Once the warrior got got back home to Coney Island after all after all their ordeals, um, 
the guy who shot Cyrus in real life end up trying to put a stop to the war so they won't spill the beans pretty much or who so he won't, so he so his, his tracks won't be revealed, you know, the the other gang leader. Um so he comes in and saying, Warriors come out and play and then once they meet face to face in the beach, he will pull out a gun where he shot the leader, um Swan, played by Michael Beck, the leader of the Warriors now, and up throwing a knife at the other gang leader's hand and the rift was right there and once the rift comes to the warriors they said they want this guy because they know that he's the one that really did it now and he, he let the warriors go you know um all in all the action was good the story drama was good and there's a simple story plot again like i said in some of these movies i like movies with simple story plot not too difficult easy to follow you know um soundtrack i like the soundtrack um you know, all in all, it's a, it's a really good movie, you know, it's a, a movie that I feel like everybody could enjoy, especially from the city, especially from New York, especially from the Bronx where I'm at, you know, especially if you hang out in Brooklyn, then you know what I'm talking about, so it's good to see, like, the New York scenery and stuff, um, yeah, and of course, the fast for the story, I, I posted this on my Facebook, I mean, there have been talks that they want to do a remake of this movie, and it's, they could remake this, but it's not going to be epic as the original. It never will be. And of course, I know a lot of people say when they do remakes, you do not want to see the same thing over and over again. But remember, you want to remake a classic. So it's pretty much you trying to outdo the original, which is not going to happen. And if, if the remake does happen, and if it is good, again, like I said, it will not be epic as the original. You know, there have been a few remakes that actually somehow survived. You know, like a, it may not outdo the original, but still it can still be epic with more replay value, you know, but in the Warriors case, that's going to be hard to do. There have been also rumors that they were, instead of making, remaking it, make the Warriors into a sequel, but follow the Ajax character, how he came out of jail, and follow his life after that. So that's an, another thing. So, I don't know, would you want to see the remake to the Warriors with the Ajax character, which... He's still doing his thing, by the way, the actor who plays that character. So go to IMDb.com, and um, and, and to me, he was like one of my, he was like one of my favorite characters actually. Even Michael Beck is still doing his thing. So yeah, so I mean, if they do a sequel, you can go anywhere with it, you know. So I mean, I, I'm all for a sequel. I feel like the characters are likable, but we'll see what happens. Hollywood is full with amazement and surprises, you know. Alright, peace guys. See you later.